number one a particular ex experience a force so here they give you the magnitude of the force is 100 newton determine the x component and also y component of the force so the magnitude they give you is 100 meaning that we need to resolve it into x component and also y component okay so what should we do is we need to resolve it like what you have learned during the secondary okay where the frost here is 100 newton and the angle here is 120 meaning that here is 60 degree okay so if you want to find fx fx is equal to we use the theorem Pythagoras where our uh, fx is equal to cos so cos 60 equals to fx over 100 so therefore your fx is equal to 100 cos 60 degree okay and if you want to find your y component fy so fy is equal to sine because it's opposite so sine 60 is equal to fy over 100 so therefore our fy is equal to 100 sine 60 degree okay so if you press calculator your 100 cos 60 is equal to 50 newton okay so because frost is a vector quantity so meaning that you need to consider the directions okay so your fx is moving to the left eh? so moving to the left is negative moving to the right is positive if moving upward is positive moving downward is negative okay so you need to consider the direction okay so we need to put negative because fx is moving to the left and then fy if you press calculator you will get 86.6 newton and it is moving the direction is moving upward so it is positive okay so this is question number one okay next we go to question number two a car moves at the velocity of 50 meter per second in the directions of north 30 degree east okay so we need to draw first we need to draw first okay north east south and also west so north 30 degree to the east so from north 30 degree to the east okay so meaning that the angle 30 degree is from north 30 degree to the east so if here 30 degree meaning that this part will be 60 degree okay so now they want to find the component of the velocity due to the north okay due to the north so if we draw okay so this is just now the magnitude is 50 and this is 60 degree so again we want to find due to the north meaning there is a y component okay so if you want to find vy it's opposite so we write um, 50 sine 60 and it's upward so it is equal to positive 50 Newton Ah, uh, you press the calculator What is the value? Okay I press the calculator Okay Try to press the calculator What is the value? And then B Due to the east East meaning that It is Your Vx huh? This is your Vx so it's equal to 50 cos 60 okay 
of course this one if you want to write in 30 degree also can okay so if you want to do it in 30 degree actually you will get the same answer if you want to use 30 degree meaning that if you want to find if you want to find a uh, y component so y component you must write 50 cos 30 you will get the same answer okay if you want to find vx vx is here is opposite so you must write 50 sine 30 so both you will get the same answer okay so next we go to question number three We have, uh, number 3, we have two uh, magnitude, P and also Q So the first one, you resolve vector P and Q into X and also Y component So you need to resolve it one by one Okay, so it goes to Q first huh? So similar, Q We can resolve it into QX and also QY so QX is equal to X This is your QX It's, it's a, uh, equal to 4.2 km Cos 55 And the direction is Direction is to the right So it's positive Okay, so I write positive Meaning that it's to the right And then QY it's moving upward okay so it's positive 4.2 but it's opposite so opposite you write sine 55 okay and then for P P we can resolve it into Y and also X so if you want to find P X or here P X similar so your P X is equal to because it is moving to the right or to the left sorry and downward and moving downward so to the left meaning is negative 5 cos 70 and then your PY because it's moving downward this is your PY downward so we must put negative indicate that the direction is downward 5 sine 70 Okay Then Find the magnitude and directions of the resultant displacement So we need to find the magnitude and also direction So first we need to Okay you, We need to resolve it into Okay, it's easier actually if you put into a table So first step you must resolve it Like what we did just now So this is our This is our X component This is Y component And then this is our Q This is P And then this is total So if you press calculator P just now what we get this one the p just now the value is you will get positive 2.41 and then qy you will get just now is 3 positive also 0.44 if you don't want to write positive also can huh? okay px is uh, after you press calculator you will get 1 negative 1.71 and also negative 4.7 Okay, so if you total up for X component, you will get 0 0.7 And for Y component, you will get 1, negative 1.26 in km, eh, in km So this is the first step eh? You resolve into X and also Y component Okay, after that, step 2 Okay, step 1 is you resolve into X Step 2, two is you resolve into Y So, step 3 is Okay, step 1, you resolve into X component Step 2, you resolve into Y component So step 3 is you need to find the magnitude So how to find the magnitude? Okay, so just now the total 
from uh, P and Q, the total from our uh, y component from P and Q, we can use theorem Pythagoras, where we can use the resultant of the uh, P and Q, uh, the resultant of P and Q, the magnitude, okay, is equal to the total 0 0.7 square plus negative 1.26 square. Okay, we use theorem Pythagoras. Okay, where R equals to x square plus y square. So this is the equation. And then you will get 1.44. Remember to write unit in km. If let's say force in Newton. Okay, so here because it's given km, so we must follow back the unit. Okay, step 4 is to find the direction. Okay, so the direction we use tangent theta uh, tangent theta y over x. So from here, at tangent, your y is negative. Okay, we just put uh, the value. Okay, and then we put the modulus. Okay, we put the modulus. And then you find out that the angle theta the angle theta is equal to 60.9 degree. Okay, and then number 5 is the graph. We need to write a graph. So from the graph here, we must follow here. Your x component is positive, y component is negative. So we know that our graph, the angle is at here. Okay, so this is the answer where our our value is 1 point, the magnitude is 1.44 km Okay, 1.44 km And it is at the 60.9 degree below positive x exit Okay, that's all for today, thank you Questions number 4. The figure above shows three forces F1, F2, F3, X on a particle at the origin. So calculate the magnitude and directions of the resultant force of particle O. So first thing, what should we do is we must uh, look at the diagram given. So the diagram given here, we have F1, F2 and also F3. Okay, so we have F1, F2 and also F3 Okay, so if we draw out okay, F1 is 10 Newton with 20 degree Okay, so F2 is into the origin So we must drag it downward meaning that our F is from origin going downward Okay, so our force F2 we drag downward and this is 45 degree Okay, so meaning that all the forces you must begin with the origin and then F3 is 30 degree below the negative X exit Okay so after that, we follow 5 steps Step number 1 is you must resolve it into X component Step number 2 is you must resolve it into Y component So here we have F1, F2 and also F3 So you must resolve it Okay. So first one we go to F1 first Where F1 we have our x exit is to the right and then y exit is upward so our x exit we write as positive 10 newton cos 20 y exit is positive because it's moving upward 10 sine 20 for f2 your x exit is to the right and moving downward 
So to the right is positive, F2 is 30, cos 45. And y exit is moving downward, so we put negative 30 sine 45. Okay, F3 is x exit is to the left and moving downward. So left meaning that negative 40 cos 30 degree and y exit is negative 40 sine 30 degree. Then you recalculate everything and you get fx as a resultant you will get negative 4 newton and your fy you total up okay f1 f2 f3 y component you will get negative 37.8 newton so this is step one and also step two step three you must find the magnitude so magnitude, we must use theorem Pythagoras where your f resultant, the total, the magnitude is equal to fx squared plus fy squared. Square root. You substitute inside negative 4 squared plus negative 37.8 square. Square root. So finally, the magnitude, you will get 38 newton. And step 4. You must find the direction. So direction, we use tangent theta equals to y component over x component. And remember, we modulus because we only want the basic angle. Okay, so you substitute inside y component. Just now is thirty. The resultant is thirty-seven point eight and. For S component is negative 4 and we modulus. So the theta is equal to at tangent 37.8 over 4 modulus. So finally you will get 84 degrees. So this is the basic angle that we get 84. Okay, so this 84 at which quadrant? Okay, so you must refer back to x is negative and your y also negative so meaning it's moving downward so therefore your resultant is at the third quadrant so we can say the f resultant force is 38 newton at the angle of 84 degree below Negative x exit. Negative x exit. Question number six. Fighter jet starting from Air Base A flies 300 km to the east. So from point A, you will fly 300 km to the east. Okay, so before we start, okay, you must know this is north, okay, this is east, south, and this is west. Okay, so 300 km to the east is actually to the left, uh, to the right, sorry. Then 350 km at 30 degree west from north. Okay, if let's say this is the origin, so this is our north. Okay, so your, the next direction is 350, 30 degree from uh, west from north uh, so from north going to the west okay meaning that from north going to the west okay so this is 30 degree okay after that it travel 150 kilometer north okay so it will go straight upward okay to the north and then it arrive air base B so how far will the pilot travel in this direction Okay, so here we have a uh, three uh, displacement. Okay, S1, S2, and S3. Okay, so first step you should what should we do is you need to or you must take it out. Okay, copy and paste. Uh, start from the origin. So the first one S1 is to the right with three hundred kilometer. 
After that, S2 is from north to west, 30 degree. So this is our S2. And S2 is 350 kilometer. And S3 is to the north. So this is S3. And it's travel with 150 kilometer. Okay, so here we already have three vector vector s1 x2 and an s3 yeah? okay so then you need to resolve it huh? resolve these three displacement okay you must resolve it into x and y component so the first one okay if you refer to s1 s1 only travel to the right meaning that is only involved x component so x component because it's to the right, so it's 300 km positive and there's no Y component, so you just put 0 Okay, S2 here Okay, S2 If I say here is 30, meaning that this is 60 So I draw a, a triangle This is our S, X and this is S, Y Okay, so if you want to resolve it into S, X Your X, X is actually beside, uh, it's adjacent to the to the angle okay so we write it as negative because it's to the it is to the left and it is upward eh? so to the left is negative 350 cos 60 okay and s y is moving upward so it's positive 350 and the angle is opposite so it's sine 60 okay s3 it only move to the north so meaning that it only involves y component x component is zero okay so we put positive 150 kilometer okay so after that you calculate you press the calculator you will get this one is 125 kilometer for x component and the resultant y component you will get is 453.11 kilometer okay so this is step 2 Okay, next one is After we already have the X, we already resolve into X and Y component Okay, next one is you need to find the magnitude Step 3 Okay, so step 3 you want to find the magnitude The resultant, the total, the value So we use theorem Pythagoras X, X squared plus X, Y squared so xx is 125 square, sy is 453.11 square, and then we square root. So you will get the magnitude equals to 470 kilometer. Okay. Step four is you need to find the direction. Okay. So you need to find the direction by using tangent theta. So tangent theta equals to y over x Okay, because this is the displacement So we write s y over x x Okay, where your s y is 453.11 km And your x x is 125 km Okay, so we modulus Because we only want the basic angle So tangent theta At tangent, you will get 74.58 degree So this is Step number 4 Of course, the value that we get here 74.58 is only the basic angle Okay, so we need to find out at which quadrant Okay, so if you refer here Your X and Y component The resultant Okay, we found that Okay, we found that just now Your X component is positive And your Y component also positive Okay, so meaning that both are moving in a positive direction Okay, it's to the right and it's moving upward Okay, so we know that the angle is at the first quadrant Okay, so we can say Therefore, the displacement is equal to 470 km Above uh, At the angle at 
58 degree above positive X exit. Question number 7. A gas molecule hits the wall of a container with a velocity of 200 meters per second at an angle of 60 degrees to the wall and is refracted with the same speed in the directions as shown in figure. So, what is the magnitude of the change of the velocity of the ball? Okay, so 60 degree meaning that your U initially is 30 degree above the X exit and then it hits a reflect back with 30 degree same velocity. So first what should we do is we need to draw out the diagram first. Okay, so U we take out, start from the origin go down okay so if just now this is 30 degree meaning that here also 30 degree okay so this is your u with the initial velocity 200 meter per second and v also from this origin come down with the angle of 30 degree below the positive x exit okay so after we draw the first step we draw Next, we need to resolve it into x and also y component. Okay, so we look at u first. Okay, so we look at u first. Okay, u is to the left and going downward. Okay, so this is your ux and this is uy. Okay, so ux is equal to 200 cos 30. Because it's moving to the left, so we put negative. And UY is moving downward, so it's negative 200 sine because it's opposite 30 degree. Okay, next we go to V. And when we need to resolve V into X and also Y component. So V is to the right and moving downward. This is Vx, this is Vy. Vx is to the right, so it's positive 200 cos 30 degree. Vy is downward, so it's negative 200 sine 30 degree. Then we find the changes. So here, we cannot take u plus v. Okay, we want to find the changes, meaning that we need to take the final velocity minus the initial velocity. So final velocity for x component is v, 200, positive 200 cos 30 minus negative, so become positive. Okay, so you will get uh, 346.4. And for y component is v, negative 200 sine 30 minus negative, so become positive. So this one you will get 0, the value is 0. Okay, so step one, you find x component. Step two, you find y component. Next, we go to step three. From x component and also y component, we already noticed that we only have x component. Therefore, x component positive. So the resultant vector only to the right because x component is positive. So this is the result, the positions of the resultant vector. Next, applying trigonometry concept, find the resultant vectors. So in order to find the resultant vector, we use the theorem Pythagoras to find Vx squared plus Vy squared, the resultant. For x component is positive 300 and 346.4 square and y component is 0. After the square, and uh, square root, okay, so you will, you will get the same answer for 346.4 meter per second. So this is the magnitude and the directions, of course, we know that it is only to the right. Okay, so we say it is to the, to the right because our x component is positive. So that's all for today. Thank you class. See you in next video.